You've hidden your inner light for too long. Mm. It's true that, you know, I am very humble. Ah. Shine bright, Piercean, and realise your true worth. I realise the true worth of that magazine. It's one ninety nine now. The cough will pop or eat back. I am just having a quick read. What time's your appointment? One o'clock. I've had a cancellation, allegedly. He thinks they're fast-tracking him because it's bad news. Right, well, I'll take an early lunch and come with you. It's all right. I've offered. I do not need an audience. How many times? It's not the sort of news you need to get when you're on your own. Well, so you think it's going to be bad news, do you? No. I mean, it could be bad news. Hey, no one's getting any bad news. Look at this. Emotions have been running high, but it's now time to relax and renew as things fall into place for Sagittarius. Oh, that's great. Do you know what? I might sack off going to the doctors now if Mystic Mervyn says I'm going to be all right. One of us will go with him. Have you got that thing welded to your hand? Mm, you want to be careful. Jay's going to ban them. No, that doesn't mean me, though. All right, well. Now's not the time. Oh, I don't know about you two, but... Uh... I'm desperate for a cuppa. All right, Lise. Don't need to call security, do I? No, of course not. Just as well, because we haven't got any. Oh, no. Hold your horses. Uh, I reckon I owe you a bit of an apology as it happens. For well, this? Things got out of hand. Just a little bit. Do you know, it's been years since I've been involved in a scuffle. I think it makes me look tough. <laughs> yeah, you do, yeah, you Proper gangster. So, are you not going to fire me? On what grounds? That your fiance got a bit lively in the pub? Oh, yeah. Come on. I'd like to think I was a bigger man than that. And, by the way, many congratulations on your left hook, as well as your lovely bride-to-be. That is really decent of you, Rishi. Real welcome. I'm not feeling too good, you know. Oh, well, it can't be easy. Oh, no, not about them. I, I just I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep getting really hot and then cold, and I think my rash is coming back. I don't think I should be around food. Well, are you going to go home? Do you want me to tell your mum? Oh, don't make a massive fuss. It's probably a lurgy and I'll sleep off in 24 hours. Is... is your mum OK? Yeah, she's hard as nails. Where do you think I get it from? Oh, the heady glamour of it all. Yep. Another thing off the list. Yay, list lovers of the world unite. And I'm not joking, you've got to be organised. Oh. Hey, I was uh, hoping to run into you. Yeah. Well, you better be quick. I'm a clipboard in heels, remember? Yeah, um, Megan, about that. Look, I really wasn't trying to be rude. OK, it's just you're so super organised, I'm in awe. It's OK. I've been called worse. Jo, I could barely dress myself when Amber was her age. <laughs> yeah, she's like one of those uh, mega mums. Yeah. Obi, Mum Kenobi. Uh, yeah. Or Mumzilla. <laughs> Don't you touch my baby. Sorry, is that too much? Oh, Megan, she's so lovely. Hey, have you got a christening gown for her yet? Because I know this fantastic boutique in town, right? You should see their little booties. They are so cute. Mm, actually, I've already got one. It's about the only thing my mum left me. Oh, OK. Well, look, I do really want to do something, though, you know, in my official capacity as godmother. <laughs> it, it's all sorted, thanks, Priya. I am the lady with the list. OK. Well, yeah, it's your call. Yeah, it is my call. Right. Well, I'm just going to grab a few things. Did your mum really leave you a christening gown? I'll have one by tomorrow. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. But... Pretty much everything. Why aren't you at school? Taken compassionate leave because of Grandad. It's not the army, Lachlan. <laughs> no, we get paid for that. I've got enough on my plate running the estate and worrying about your granddad without you playing me up. Relax. It's a couple of hours. It's not worth having a breakdown over. Besides, it's a big night tonight. I'm watching Shadow Switch of the Paragon. I thought Gabby bailed on you. Well, I can still go by myself, can't I? No. No, you can't. Well, you're not coming with me. I can go, if you like. 
No, nah, you'll hate it. You are in no fit state. Well, I could take a couple of painkillers. Can't be that bad. No offence, but... I don't really want to be... Want to be seen with me? Well, don't worry. I won't cramp your style. See? Even saying that's bad. That's the offer on the table. Take it or leave it. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, what are you doing here? I thought I'd better call in, seeing as though your phone's clearly on the blink. They didn't want to see you come in. Oh, nice. We had to make a girl feel wanted. I've been texting you all morning. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm at work. <sighs> you really shouldn't be here, you know. Apart from anything else, I'm flat out. I'm trying to catch up on some notes through lunch. You need to get your priorities straight. I'm not one to be ignored. Honestly, Belle, you really can't come in here like this. Why? Are you gonna stop me? You might want to take a seat. We're running a bit behind. It's been one of them mornings. I'm waiting for some test results. Got you stupidly early. Pointless, really. We're just hanging around, catching everyone else's jerks. Yeah, you don't have another room, maybe, that we could wait in, do you? Well, there's always the pool bar on the roof. <laughs> Who are you seeing? Dr. Bill. Oh, did you have a thing with him? He's married, you know. How did, uh, <gasps> how did it work out for you? You're in safe hands. He's very good. Why, well, have you got some patterns? <coughs> Can't just stand round here all day. I can, I can open the shop. Well, then go in. His door's right there. I don't know where his door is. Well, then go. I can't just go in. If you don't, I will. If we hang round here much longer, <coughs> we're going to end up getting carried out on a flaming stretcher. <coughs> this is wrong on so many levels. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I'm sorry. Be wearing a hole in the carpet out there. Uh, Mr. Metcalf, what can we do for you? Um, you called <coughs> to say my test results were back. Oh, yes, right. Um, take a seat. Um, there with me has been one of those mornings, I'm afraid. Tell me about it. <sighs> ah, well, I think I can put you out your misery. The ultrasounds come back okay. There is no indicator of cancer being present. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, you don't know how worried I've been. Oh, I could kiss you. I won't do back on. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised how often I hear that. Um, right, uh, whew. So what now? Uh, what, what do I do about my lump? Ah, oh, well, well, there are some options open to us. Um, it could just disappear the same way it came. Or if it's causing you discomfort, we could possibly have it removed. Well, okay. Um, do, do you need another no, look now? No, 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 no. Totally fine. You absolutely, definitely need to keep those trousers on for now. <laughs> 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 there you go, mate. I should put some hands on your chest. Cheers, my one. Oh, a bit quieter in here today. Still, I suppose we should be grateful. <laughs> You've not spoken to charity then? No, I've been a bit busy, Marlon. Why? What's gone on? Nothing, nothing. Just got a bit. Lively in here yesterday, that's all. So, they said I can be in a separate room and then link me up to a screen in court if I want. It's better than breathing the same air as him. Yeah, maybe. I thought that's what you wanted. You don't sound very convinced. I wanted to look him in the eye and show him he's got no more power over me. Just tell them what you went over with your barrister. What do you mean? Well, whatever you've practised with her, then just tell them the facts. I didn't practise anything with her. That's not even how it works. Why don't you just mind your own business? Try sorting your own life out, you start messing with mine. Well, I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, I don't need your help. I don't want you there tomorrow either. Aaron, hell, there'll be enough people gawping at me already. I don't need him joining the circle. <laughs> He's gonna need to sort his nerves out before tomorrow. Whenever he opens my mouth, it just makes things worse. Look, can you try and speak to him, please? He'll take it from you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> my pleasure. Always nice when it's good news. Yeah. Oh, and um, I will think about the other stuff. 
But not today. Today's for celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Never happen again. Yeah. Maybe we should meet somewhere else next time. If there's gonna be a next time. Well, that's up to you, isn't it? Well, if you think you can keep up. <sighs> I'm not that old. Now, do you think you can actually get out of here? Some of us do have work to do. I don't know what to do. I feel sick to my stomach. It must be a million times worse for him. We'll all be together. <laughs> just like you, Will. And just like we always do, yeah? If he doesn't hurry up, I'm gonna have to run you into school myself. It's only games after lunch. Marching on together! <laughs> We're <laughs> gonna <laughs> see me win! win. Na, 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 na. Guess who's been given the all clear? Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> told you, didn't I? I never told you it for a second. <laughs> I told you it was going to be all right, didn't I? Hey? <laughs> you just put a smile on your face. I doubt it's that load of paperwork. It's just nice to be able to give someone good news for a change. David. Hmm? David Metcalf. Practically flew out of here, he was so happy. Makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? I need to pop out. Well, but what about afternoon surgery? Well, I have to reschedule. It's an emergency. They'll be baiting you, trying to get you to lose it. Discrediting you. And giving the satisfaction. Yeah, well, if you do, it'll be game over. It's pretty much game over anyway, isn't it? Of course it isn't. Sandra's gone AWOL, so it's gonna come down to my word against his, and he's a very good liar. Hey, you're not leaving already, are you? Party's only just getting started. I'm not gonna miss much. I think he'll sleep in five. Live a good old his drink. Yeah, he's a total lightweight. <laughs> Still the best dad in the world, though. <laughs> Unless that's weird. That is not weird at all. It's chuffing brilliant. Come here. Oh, honorary dad, eh? Just when I thought today couldn't get any better. I'll see you after school, kid, yeah? Right, <laughs> right then, whose is the whiskey? Nice. Is that yours, Lilla? <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Enjoy. What's the occasion? <sighs> Do we need an excuse? Can you uh, get Tracy a drink, please, Charles? Put it on my tab. I'm sorry about the last few weeks. I've handled things badly. I've had a lot going on. Can we just accept that I'm an idiot and carry on being friends? Mm. You are a massive idiot. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Why don't we finish up here, move the party next door? It's cheaper there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, well, I'll tell you what, I'll go get a couple of bottles of champagne from the shop and I'll meet you there. Right. Oh, do not start without me. <laughs> do you want to lift for something? No, I'm fine, I'll manage. Stop trying to be a hero, Andy, it doesn't suit you. I'm waiting for a lift. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she loves playing nursery for about 24 hours. Gotta warn you, though, she bores easily. Anything else we need to get from yours? No, anything else that's left can just stay there. I don't need it. Is he moving in? He already has. Did you not get the memo? No, I must have missed it somehow. I hope you don't get bored too soon. Sorry, we're shut. Oh, <laughs> hello. Wow, great follow-up service. Do all of your patients get this or am I just one of the lucky ones? Is there anyone else here? Uh, nope. But I will warn you, I'm a black belt in karate, so no funny business. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a bit of a hiccup at the surgery. The files got mixed up and... Well, I gave you the wrong test results. Um... All right, um, everything's OK, though, is it? There's a strong indication you've got testicular cancer. No. <laughs> no, I, I can't have because you, you said that I had got the all clear. I'm meant to be celebrating. You could do a reading. You don't have to be dead religious or anything. 
Uh, I don't know about that. I'd probably muck it up. Why would you muck it up? Well, I just get all tongue-tied and that. Words and stuff. It's, it's not really my thing. I can make her a cracking catapult, though, once she gets old, eh? <laughs> Leave them be. <laughs> You're gonna let us in on any plans then? For? For our daughter's christening. What do you need to know? Harriet's doing the service, we need you there by 12 o'clock, and I expect most people will be dressing up. Yeah. And that's it. What else are we expecting? Everything's sorted, I don't need any help. Well, maybe not tomorrow, but generally, she's gonna need a lot of support. And she'll get it from me. You're freezing me out. Well, obviously you're going to think that because you can't compute the word no. It's too much, Jay. You're too controlling. How can I be too controlling? I just want to be near her. If you're doing this to get back at me for something, I won't let it happen. You won't let it happen? Are you threatening me or something? No, of course not. I'm Do you just... know what? I can't deal with this. I haven't got the energy. Don't bother coming tomorrow. You'll only ruin it. What? I'm serious. You're not welcome. And you need to have some more tests. Why? In case you got it wrong. Again. You have every right to be angry. Oh, thank you, but I don't need your permission. And what am I going to do with all this? Hey! And these! Here! You have them! There! I'm so sorry. There's no excuse. It's just human error. Yeah, your human error. We need to establish what stage the cancer is at. You need a CT scan to see if it's confined within the testicle itself. Or if it's spread. Indeed. And what if it has? Well, I wouldn't want to second-guess things at this stage. Yeah, no. We wouldn't want anyone accusing you of being unprofessional now. Would we? Where is David? Hey, eh? he's been gone ages. I'm gonna go all up for him. Don't try and defend him, Sam. You know what it's like. If I don't stand up to him, he'll trample all over me. I don't care about it. I was thinking of you. It's not easy having kids. I did have an inkling. You need all your energy for looking after Eliza, yeah? Well then, don't waste it on Jay. Letting people help don't be any less of a mum, you know. You right? Well, I'm trying to get a bit of peace. Do you want to go for a drive or something? Get out of here for a bit. Are you serious? Yeah. With you? I know you think I'm hung up on Chrissy and Andy, but I'm not, I swear. I couldn't care less either way. Yeah, I know, and I'm just trying to say... I haven't got space for anything in my head but the trial. I know, I get it. No, you don't get it, because you're not listening to me, Robert. I haven't got space for you. Go away. Too much chocolate cake. Need a partner in crime. Thought you. Checking up on me after yesterday. You spend your whole life looking after everybody else. Thought you might need a bit of propping up yourself just this once. And you know what? I make seriously good cake. <laughs> Nobody's taking that away from me. <laughs> Can't have been easy. I've seen him... seen him get down on one knee like that. Silly old fool. Making a show of himself. How could he do it, Mal? How could he do that to me? You know what men are like? We're easily confused. He'll be having one of them midlife crises. It's a bit late. Yeah, I admit it is a bit of late on set one, but still. It's obvious he's been unhappy for years and he's just been putting up with me until someone better came Don't along. Don't be daft. 
Okay, you see, Marlon, he's serious. He wants to marry her. Lisa. And the worst part of it is... <laughs> ..that I hate himself for it. I'd have him back in a heartbeat. <laughs> What's been happening here? We've been trying to ring you. What are you doing? Sat by yourself in the dark. They got it wrong at the doctor's. Gave me the wrong test results. I've got cancer. If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com slash advice for further information. Next tonight, it's Coronation Street.